everyone so i'm doing a tutorial on how to package k-pop trades and sales i noticed that sometimes when i do get a trade it does come damaged and sometimes that can be kind of concerning because you know when you're trading with someone sometimes it's for like you know an album photo card and that could be like eight usd and yeah it just costs us money so this is how i'm going to show how to do it so what you basically need is you need a card you need a top loader you need a sticky note you need you don't really need sticky indexes but they're like nice so you can pull out the photo card easier and then you have washi tape washi tape is the best one because it doesn't it's not too sticky so when you try to take out the photo card it's not like unbearable so i'm gonna teach everyone how to package multiple photo cards in a tray because i feel like most people have issues with that you can put them in the same like sleeve i, I would say it's only two per same sleeve so i just put that there and the sleeves that I do use, I'll show you guys right now. So these are full, both from Manu Deku. So this one is 57 by 88 millimeters, and this is 61 by 91 millimeters. I have been um, selling and trading for like a very, I wouldn't say long time, but like decent time where I know like what damages the card and what doesn't damage the card. And I understand like the concept of it and all that stuff. And I have sold like over 70 things and no one has ever complained to me so hopefully i'm doing something right so that's in the single sleeve right now and i have a resealable sleeve that i'm going to be putting it in the reason why i don't like to tape like the bottom of like the sleeve is because people have mobility issues and and i noticed that when you do that kind of stuff like you tape the bottom of the photo card and let's say the the person who receives it they try to open it they use their nail, right? And sometimes people have really long nails. My nails are not that long, but they can they can scratch the card. It has happened to me. So that's why I recommend not to tape it. So I use a resealable sleeve and then I put it in here. Also, I forgot the index. Here's the index. You can put it on the left or right side, doesn't really matter. Okay. Sorry, it's acting a little bit stubborn, but it goes in there. Just gotta do that. Okay, I think I'm gonna make the index a little bit taller. There you go. And then, yeah. So I'm just gonna get my washi tape. This is the washi tape I am using right now. I'm gonna use Rosie's washi tape. And what I do is I seal the top of the top loader. Now, the reason why I seal the top of the top loader is because so that the card doesn't fall out. This has happened to me where one person that traded with me, they didn't seal the top of the top loader. And my Minji photo card was like outside, like here. And she got really bent, like really badly. I told them about it, but um, yeah, that's why you have to seal this. So it doesn't, you know, fall out. See, it's not falling out or anything. So just... Put the top loader in the middle of the card. Got more washi tape. So I try to just do like three. Three per washi tape. I don't know if that makes sense. But three strips or something like that. I don't know how to say. And you just tape it on the left and the right side. Also, sorry if you hear any background noise. Oh, that one looks really bad. <laughs> sorry, I'll take that out. It's like very wrinkly. So... I put on the left side and the right side as well. I think everyone knows this, but this is how I do things just so that nothing comes damaged and no one's ever complained. So I don't think like, and then we'll put one on the top as well. And so this is where I write my note. I do give away freebies, but I'm not going to show that part. So this is my note. So I say, thank you. I do have like a trade today and a sale today, so thank you for buying. So please. And I did sell like a Chaewon card, so I'm going to say please let me know when Chaewon arrives to you. Also guys, let me put up my writing. I'm like not doing it proper.
So that's my note. Oh my god, it looks kind of busted. But I'm just doing an example. That is my username if you want to follow me. So I just put it on here. I do put freebies and stuff like that. The way you can put freebies is you just put like a sleeve here and then freebies and then you put your photo cards like Lamo photo cards if you want to put there. I, I give Lamo photo cards away as well. So you have to shut the sleeve and as you can see it's kind of a little bit stubborn. So I just get some tape. I tape like all the sides. Some people just tape like the middle but I always get like paranoid. I'm like oh well it's not gonna show up good or something like that so tape the side as well. I'm gonna tape the bottom as well. I'm running out of this washi tape already. But yeah. So once I tape like top, like the middle and the bottom, I basically write the address on the envelope and I confirm basically the address and then I would put this in the envelope. And yeah, that's basically about it. It's nothing too like fancy like or anything. It's just how I do things. It's just like how what I notice from the community. Um, and it's not a jab at anyone. You know, I notice that most people do package their trades very properly. They do very well, but there's like a few that just like they they make mistakes, and it's just like very troublesome because when you're trading, you have to make sure that you know the package the uh, trade is packaged very well and that there's no damage. Because if there's damage, then you know the seller might complain to you or something like that. So that's basically about it. Make sure to do address confirmation with the person. I don't want to do that part because I think um, everyone knows how to do that. So it shouldn't be too hard. You send basically a photo of your packaging proof. So basically this but like unclosed. And then you send an address confirmation as well. So you take a picture of their address and say, hey, is this look okay? And then they'll say, yeah, it looks okay. And then you send out whenever you need to. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope this helps. I think this is probably like one of the best ways to, if you can package like two to three photo cards or four even, that would be pretty good. But um, yeah, I don't know how to package like 10 photo cards yet. I haven't got to that point, but hopefully I don't have to because it seems kind of stressful, but I'll figure out a way to also make a tutorial for that. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.